Where are we? We're in uh, this really amazing... We're in uh, Café Tamar in Tel Aviv. Right. There's some history here. There's a lot of history here. So tell me about it. Um, the cafe was established the first time we actually know that it was uh, uh, documented is 1941. My grandparents came here in 1956. Um, and they, my grandmother has been here ever since. My grandfather unfortunately died at a very young age uh, at 1966. However, my grandmother has managed uh, through her very, very uh, fantastic character to create a very, um, very unique um, atmosphere and uh, place here. So I see, As you can see by the art and yeah. uh, the political involvement. So, artists, writers, politicians, artists, writers, politicians, some businessmen as well. So it's a very strange, it's a very strange mixture. So you've had uh, either lots of political things happen, multi-million dollar deals, uh, romances. Ro oh, really? Okay. Yes. Now, now, who are some of these characters on the wall? Actually, most of them is my grandmother. These are cartoons of my grandmother. Right. There was a very well-known cartoonist in Israel called the Ev. And every year, my grandmother used to close the cafe for three weeks and go on a vacation in August. Right. She used to be normal then because she understood that people need a vacation. Right. Nowadays, she didn't take any time off. And, um, and every time she would close the cafe, he would uh, portray a cartoon of her in uh, accordance with uh, the recent political events. So you would probably have here oh. um, the Olympics. And you might have here... Um, where is that with Arafat in 1993, where the when the Oslo Accords were uh, initially signed over here, you right. see with Arafat and Paris and uh, King Hussein, obviously with its hot Robin, whom she. So how come your grandmother was never prime minister? Yeah, she never wanted to be. I guess. Okay, was she? Is she kind of like a Golden Meir but with a coffee shop? Oh no no. She's, no, I think I think she's a lot nicer. No, okay, but I meant <laughs> in terms of a, a she's figure. She's a very 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 strong. A uh, very strong-minded woman. Yeah. Um, she was born in a place called Nahalal in Israel. Nahalal is the first moshav of Israel. Okay, explain what a moshav is. Moshav is, a, is actually a place where people used to right. um, uh, decide to uh, go on the land and live together and create a more social kind of life. Not a kibbutz, which most people know. Right. It's a moshav. It's a bit of a different way. And that was the first moshav, and she was actually one of the very first girls they were born in that shop. And then there's the, you, you're actually a very much a street cafe with all the. It's yeah. A, it's a combination. Of, uh, and you've got free Wi Fi. <laughs> yes. Even better. Free Wi Fi. That was a very, very uh, challenging uh, uh, thing to convince my grandmother that people actually need Wi Fi nowadays. Right. So yeah. we're very, very proud that we have Wi Fi with the name Cafe Tamar because yeah. it's not an obvious thing for us. Okay. Well, thank you so much. This is Alan Weinkrantz signing off from Tel Aviv.